I'm moving further forward now into uh, the Thetford oven uh, in this Swift Classic. Uh, so straightforward controls on the front. These first three to the left-hand side is to operate these three gas rings. And I'll just demonstrate very quickly. This valve is for the large one. So move it from the 12 o'clock position to nine, press the valve in, strike it away she goes. And that's on a low and that's on a high and that's the off position. Same on these particular two, I'll just do them quickly just to demonstrate them. Just leave them pressed in for a short period of time, just to allow uh, the flame failure device just to detect that there is a heat source. That is a flame failure device, that particular probe there. So it's just detecting that the heat is present and therefore it keeps the gas valve open. And then the grill, again, rotate it to the nine o'clock position, press the valve in, strike the ignition. Hopefully, there she goes. Now I always look, rather than having to bend down, I always look into the base plate where I can see the flame quite nicely and if you just stay there and watch that that will start to glow red and this is when I start to release the valve so I wait till the frets start to glow red and then I release the valve just so I know that I've got sufficient heat within that system to keep it open. Um, there is a little plate that pulls forward when that grill is in use and what that is to, uh, to do is to take any uh, heat away from uh, generating into those valves. So it uh, just takes that heat away from that particular area. When not in use on the grill, that can go back. And the oven, again, very much the same process, right round to its maximum setting, which is 240 degrees. Press the valve in, strike the ignition, away it goes, and then you can release that one quite quickly. And it's set to 240 is its maximum, uh, just on the valve here. Regulo 6, around about 180, 200, uh, if you're on the Regulo system. So also we've got a toughened glass uh, surface here, which you can use as a surface during the day. But just be aware that if you have been uh, using these uh, rings in any way, shape or form for a long period of time, heat, residual heat will uh, transfer into this plant support. Therefore, it's going to be remain hot for a period of time. So please allow excessive heat to disperse from that area before you lower the lid down. So thank you very much for watching this sort of demonstration. Hope you find it useful.